Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly and you wouldn't know this, but it's been a very long time since I filmed, at, at least a week. I traveled last week, um, I had pre-filmed and, and pre-scheduled, so you guys hopefully don't see any interruption with my travel schedule getting in the way. But while I was gone, I got a bunch of products in the mail. I'm sure my husband was like, oh my lord woman, what are you ordering? But I got gifted a couple items, so I wanna use those. I picked up some Morphe, I picked up some Juvia's Place, I got in the new Sigma Mod palette, I got in some Beauty Bay, some of their newer collection, so I have a lot. What I'm most excited about right now is the new Dose of Colors Truffle Collection. I've never got anything from Dose of Colors this early before. I don't get anything in PR. Like it's not, they didn't gift it to me. They didn't send it to me. I'm not affiliated, sponsored, endorsed, nothing like that with Dose of Colors. I have a number of their palettes, but I don't have like everything they've ever put out, like some of the other things. Anyway, when I saw the Truffle Eyeshadow Palette, I went, that's really pretty and then it was like 86 bucks for the whole collection and I thought okay let's do it I did not get the original truffle lipstick or liquid lip or whatever it is the lip that came that was the original inspiration behind the truffle palette so I, I am excited to try that because I believe it's one of the two uh, shades that are in here they also have a truffle blush that I'm excited to try out and then while I was there I picked up a couple items from the last collection so I'm gonna save the blush uh, this, the cream blush and this heart eyes palette for another day to try. But I wanted to share with you guys the new truffle collection because I'm super excited about it. And I wanted to see that the model looks beautiful, right? And so when you look at a model that has dark hair and brown eyes and you know, a medium or, or medium to tan complexion, I go, would, would that work on me? Lady of a certain age who's not a makeup artist, can we get it to can we get it to work? So that's that's the question we're trying to answer today. I have a really busy day left. It's, it's afternoon, it's probably almost, it's now three o'clock, which means I have to get on to this. Uh, we've got to, we gotta run a couple errands. We're gonna stop by and see the band that my husband used to play with called No Promises. We're gonna go watch them for a little while. And then we're gonna go grab food and then we've got a football game. The Skyhawks is like a arena football team locally. And so we've got tickets uh, to go see them. It's, it's gonna be a busy day. And I spent all morning working on promotion for my husband's current band called Whiskey Trail. So it's just, it's just been, it's been busy. I, I never thought music promoter would be in my resume, but, and I don't think it really is. I think I'm more of like marketing, if even that. Do their social media and some photography and some scheduling. I don't even know. I'm just the wife. I'm, I'm like one of the band wives. There's three band wives, but I seem to be the one that th the band wife doing the stuff for the guys. They don't pay me enough. Anyway, let's get on, let's get onto this because I don't have a whole lot of time. And I was hoping you do something with my crappy nails because like I said I was traveling and then I landed and for whatever reason I think I broke every single nail in transit yesterday and I. I don't, I don't know why. Let me scoot you guys in and let's play with some okay. of this. That should be close enough, right? I have um, a little bit of stuff already going on. You guys, I am really enjoying this Ordinary Foundation. It's very liquidy, like it's very thin formula, but I actually love the way it looks on my skin. I love the way it looks outdoors. I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in outdoor lighting tonight, or outdoor lighting today. So I was excited about that. I also do have a little bit of the NYX Bear With Me Serum. Um, what is it? Foundation concealer? Concealer serum. Uh, I've got a little bit of that strategically, but I don't want to look too heavily made up. I've also got the Thrive Cos Cosmetics Eye Lift 360. That's going on my eyelids right now. And I did do a little bit of bronzery-ish situation with the Charlotte Tilbury uh, what do they call this? Contour wand. It's very soft and subtle, but I, I'm not knowing how this is going to work. Let's start with the blush. Let's see how the, how the, how the blush looks. How are you guys doing? Is everybody, everybody good? Everybody healthy? I'm going to probably bump this, find some scissors to get into this package. Uh, I'm going to probably bump this video ahead of what I originally had scheduled for the day this goes live, just because like I said, I do tend to pre-film stuff and then I'm never sure what's gonna come out and I hardly ever bump things. I just usually move it to the next month, but since this is a new release, I'm gonna give it to you guys a little bit sooner or later. So this is the packaging. Um, it's got a little bit of a, it's like a matte background with some shiny swooshes on it and raised truffle blush, raised dose of colors. That's the shade, which looks maybe a little light for me. I don't know, let's find out. So. I've got a weird hair situation right now. My husband actually really likes curly hair. What was I worried about? It looks light in the pan, but that is beautiful shade. I don't know if I put on too much, but that's actually really pretty. Okay, blush is on. Actually, this is a beautiful color. 
It's not too pink. It's not too coral. It feels like, I'm not going to call it a natural flush. It's a very complimentary tone. I'm just going to kind of smooth out the edges. You know, I'm going to end up powdering my face and then I may need to touch it up again. We'll just have to see how it looks. But wow, that's actually really pretty. I don't think I, I don't know. It, if I've bought a dose of Colors Blush before or if I've got one in a subscription service, it's been a very long time. Okay, let's take a look at the lips because I don't have anything on my lips right now. Would have thought this would slide out, but I guess you push it up. Okay. I didn't, I don't read the instructions. Oh yeah. And you can push it all the way out. All right. These are the two um, products in here. We've got a matte lip and a gloss. Super pretty. Should we swatch? I don't really have time to go into a super deep review. I just wanted, I thought I've got this really pretty champagne colored satin, satiny type blouse from H and I've got a bunch of these. I really like them. And they were on sale for like 14 bucks recently, which was a real steal. Anyway, I got the lip, matte lipstick on it, <laughs> the sleeve and my water water's not taking it off. So anyway, <laughs> that's the lip color, which is super pretty. And this is the gloss. Oh yeah, really pretty. Okay, let's see what it looks like on the lips. This is one from H&M. It's a little bit darker, which hopefully will work if I overline a little bit. Okay, this is the, I've got the lip liner on now. Do I have a shade? I'm sure there is, but can I read it? Question du jour. I think it says chalk therapy, like chocolate therapy, but it's more of a neutral brown. So let's try it with the liquid lip. Again, this should be in shade trouble and it is. Yay. I don't know what the original product was, if it was a liquid lip like this or another formula, like a lipstick, like a bullet. After I, I bought this kit with this collection, I saw that I had missed two other eyeshadow palettes that they released. One was the mm, browns, matte lights, like matte brown two. I think I had the first one. And then there was another one that was like golden hour gold something or other. I didn't get that. I feel like I've got a lot of eyeshadow palettes with gold in it. So I didn't really feel like that was going to add to my collection. If I see it go on sale, I might pick it up, but chances are not. I'm trying to be selective. It's not really working out very well for me. Okay. So that's the lip. And I've avoided kind of pressing my lip down because I did want it to get a chance to, I don't even have it on my teeth. I didn't want to, get, want to give it a chance to dry down a little bit. Blush is still looking pretty good. It hasn't, my skin hasn't eaten it up. It hasn't absorbed into the, the foundation yet, which is really good. I'm going to hold off on the lip gloss until I get everything else done. I got sent two different products from iMethod Beauty. I had gotten gifted something from them before. I, hope this is, I don't think this is the same product. I had been gifted eyebrow pencils before. Oh yeah, these are two different products. So one of them, one of these things that they sent me is the Perfect Eyebrows in Seconds kit. This one has stencils, pomade, a sponge brush, a dual-ended spoolie and angled brow brush, an all-enclosed in a zipper pouch for your beauty drawer or handbag. And the other thing they sent me was an eyebrow stamp. I'm very excited to try these. Maybe I'll try one now and then I'll come back and, and do the other one in the second video because I really do want to try out these. And I'm so grateful. Thank you so much, iMethod Beauty, if you guys are watching these, um, for sending me these products. As a, a ridiculously small YouTube channel, there isn't anything I get in, in PR. I appreciate everybody who is here, but I don't have enough here to, to make this a monetized channel or or really anything that other companies aren't sending me things. I just don't have a big enough following at this point. So iMethodBeauty, it says follow us, iMethodBeauty.com. Instagram handle and stuff is at iMethodBeauty. Um, you could also do hashtag iMethodBeauty and hashtag iMethod. And they have a little thank you card. So there you go. That And this is what the box looks like. They sent me 03 color. It says just stamp perfect brows in seconds. Let's see. Since I'm not a makeup artist, I am very much curious. Should we read the instructions? I'm a little nervous. How to get perfect eyebrows with the iMethod brow stamp. I gotta be honest, I, I don't have a lot of patience to read instructions. I am old AF and the last thing I want to do is, is be told that what I know about putting on makeup is not correct. However, the, there are new products coming out and there's new techniques and new formulas. I, I've never used an eyebrow stamp before. Okay, so here's some tutorial and answers. Some tutorials and answers, frequently asked questions. Will the stamp dry out? Uh, pigment is inside the lid of the stamp cap, not inside the sponge. The eyebrow stamp can dry out if you do not close it all the way. Uh, what do I do if the eyebrow stencil does not fit my current eyebrow shape? Stencils were created according to the measurements of the golden ratio, so they may not be perfectly fitted to your exact eyebrow growth. If you like the shape of the stamp, once you stamp it on, you can tweeze the hairs that fall outside of the stamp to make your natural eyebrow growth fit the shape perfectly. Makes sense. Um, what if the color does not work for me? Please note the color may vary among individuals due to different skin tones or hair. Don't worry if the color is not right for you. You can contact a thrust replacement. We'll send you the right color for you. If the color is too dark, stamp the eyebrow 
eyebrow stamp on paper towel before application to remove excess product. If the color's too light, simply apply another layer. Adding another layer will darken the pigment. So that's not really a ton of, of instructions. That's cool. Okay, what else do we have here? We've got three pouches of stuff in here. These look like stencils, and these also look like stencils. This is the little tool. They give you a little spoolie. Let's brush the hairs up now, I guess. And then on the other side is a little angled applicator brush. So that's kind of cool. I like tools like this. I use this really almost every single day. And this is the product itself. So it comes in this kind of cool little canister. It does say I method, I method eyebrow stamp. Okay. So the product is in the cap and the stamp obviously has a little sponge applicator. So if I put a little on, it looks like it might be a little cool toned. I just dabbed a bunch of it on there. I mean, like I went over it a couple times, but it's very soft. It's not like super high hyper pigmented. Let's try. It does give a very satisfying <laughs> snap when you get it back in. I'm a little nervous. So they are numbered. So that's good. So this one has one, two, three, four, and five. I guess I have to figure out which one I think makes the most sense. That almost seems a little big. That one might work. Which one is that? That's two. One. It's very arched. Um, yeah, it's a little too high for my current eyebrow. This one's already come out of its little thing. That seems too bushy. And this one, five, is a lower arch, I think. It's also a little too thick and bushy. Okay, so we're going to try number two. One thing that I, as I was thinking about using this product, one thing that jumped out at me was sometimes with stencils, you'd be like, okay, well, this is one eye. I'm going to flip it over and do the other, but then you might have product on that eye. You might have product on the other side from over stamping it. Don't do that. You, you guys know this, but I, I'm, I'm telling you right now. Okay. So I selected number two, praying this works because I've never used an eyebrow stamp. And like I said, I've got a bunch of stuff to do. And I'm doing out in natural daylight, so I'm a little a little nervous. Okay, so I'm aligning this up. That looks like it's gonna be pretty, pretty close. Let's get these curls out of the way here. If I don't get this perfect, what is that gonna do? Okay, so I've got this on, on my face. And it's just makeup, right? So it washes off. I don't know why that would make me so so concerned. Okay, so I've got the stamp on. I'm gonna start in kind of like the middle part because that's where my eyebrow is typically darker and I'm just going to lightly tap towards the tail and then I'm going to lightly tap towards the center too. And, uh, okay, we've got one on and one off. What do you guys think? Are you impressed? Because I'm a little impressed right now. I didn't go maybe as far center as I probably could have, but as far as the overall shape goes, it's not too heavily made up. I was worried that it was going to be too dark and saturated. I was really worried about it, but I actually really like it. That's actually pretty flattering. I probably could just wipe it off, but we're going to use this one on this side. Let's see if I can get it lined up again. Hopefully I'm getting it in the same place and the same length as the other one. <laughs> it seems a little awkward to do this, but let's just try. And I, I don't know if I need to go back or go into the cap again. I was worried that I was going to have to go back into the stamp to get more product on, but one, one stamp in and it seems to be seems to be okay. Let's try this again. So this is the first one, or this is the my left side. I'm going to go a little darker, I think. I don't really need to, but I suppose if I need to clean up with a little a wipe or something, I can. Wow. Why was I scared to use this? They say, you know, eyebrows in seconds, but I got to be honest, I think that figuring out where to place the stencil was a little a little scary but I actually really like the way that works. Let's see if what my husband thinks when, when I see him, he's upstairs. Okay, so I'm just gonna brush the brows one more time. I didn't use the little angled brush. I actually think that my eyebrows look better than they did, they do when I do my normal regular eyebrows. Who knew? Have you guys tried, have tried these eyebrow 
stamps before. I mean, that's kind of hard to look at, but have you guys tried these? Because if you haven't, then I method might be something to look at. I know you can get a lot of their products on Amazon. As I said, you've got social medias. Um, I'm going to hold this up to your screen. That's their QR code. So I'll hold it here for a second, just in case you want to scan it. If that worked and you were able to, to scan it and, and save it, then great. But let me know what you guys think. I am excited about this other kit, this Perfect Eyebrows and Seconds kit. That looks like it's a little bit more intense, a little bit more product. So I'll use that next time when I have a little bit of time. I've got to get going. This is the Truffle Eyeshadow Palette from Dose of Colors. And when I looked at this, I went, that's actually really beautiful and has a lot of my normal, regular, everyday colors in it. We're, we're going to go for it. I haven't used a Dose of Colors eyeshadow palette in quite a while. I'm going to grab this light shade right here and I'm going to use that as sort of where a little bit above where my crease is and I'm half tempted to do just sort of an ombre gradient because I am going to be doing uh, daylight and then we've got some evening activities to do so it might be a little richer than what I would normally do. Beautiful color. I think sometimes with the dose of colors like their little five pan palettes or are they five or six. Anyway sometimes I worry that the shades are too dark. This one actually wow this is one that I can see using for just like a regular everyday on the lid or even a work look. I can totally totally see wearing this for just like an everyday. Yeah. Okay. That's good. This is like a C brush here. I don't, does it have a name on it? No, it's a Morphe brush. So I'm going to grab, this one's a little darker and warmer. We're going to go this direction, I'm taking this kind of in the, in the crease a little bit. And basically I've left that first color as the top edge and it's going a little bit further down. Zero issues with the formula so far. It's not coming off as patchy or anything. It does seem to be blending into the first shade. I'm not losing one or the other. I feel like, I feel like I've got a little bit of a soft gradient. Could this be my new like favorite go-to palette? I, I don't know. Did I get too dark on one and not the other? I'm gonna go a little bit more over here because I feel maybe got darker on one than the other. I'm picking up the barest minimum amount of, of product and the product on the lids, unlike the blush, which I think came in a little bit more saturated than what it looked like in the, in the pan, I think these shades actually look like what I would expect. They actually look like the shade in the pan. So yay for that. No, uh, <laughs> I used to call it like mystery meat navigation, but it's, uh, you know, mystery meat shades. It sounds gross. Oh, sounds crazy. I'm going to take this, this, like the one that's almost like a berry shade. I'm going to start right above my lash line and kind of buff it up. And I might use one of the browns to kind of darken up a little bit more here. Yeah. When I saw the, the model that they used for their ad, I was like, I want to look like her. I should be like actually referencing it, <laughs> but I'm not going to, because you know, here's the, the reality is we all have our own shapes of eyes and we all have our own set of features and you know, we're never going to look like the models and simultaneously or conversely, the models are never going to look like us. Don't, don't ever let anybody make you feel like you're not beautiful because you are I'm convinced. Yeah. That's kind of a, I want to call it like a blush colored ombre. I'm not done yet. I feel like I, you don't, you wouldn't even know that I've got all these different shades on. I'm going to take the lightest shade a little bit more here at the top. I'm going to go into that same kind of raspberry muted raspberry color. Really, really love it. All right. Dose. I feel like their palettes sometimes are a little bit expensive. You know, when some things like 30, 40 bucks, you really, you know, you want to th think twice about it. That that could be any day. As I said, that's a quarter of a tank of gas, but I don't know what prices are where you're at. Here's like a flat liner brush. I'm going to go into the darkest shade. I'm going to pick a little bit of this up. Let's deepen up that lash line. I'm trying to decide if I am going to do like an actual liner. Sometimes I don't when it's just when I'm going to be out in daylight because I don't want it to look too harsh. So I'm kind of stippling it just in against my lash line and then I'm kind of connecting it to the lower lash. But if I want to lift my lash, lift my lash line, I'm going to stamp up a little higher. I'm going to follow basically the line of my lower lashes, stamp up a little higher, and then I'll connect it to the shade in my, on my upper lash line. Okay. That's kind of pretty. It's kind of like a smudged, smudged, smoky eye. I've just got this kind of like clean fluffy brush that I'm just sort of blending things together. Yeah, I think that's actually really kind of pretty. The fact that it's like a smoky eye without being too kind of over the top. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go, I haven't tried this like taupe color over here. There's a lot of kick up that I just saw flutter up from brush. So we're just kind of softening up that lower lash line a little bit. Yeah, I think that gives me kind of like a smoky bedroom eye sort of look. So I haven't used, I, I've used a number of shades here. I used one, no, I used one, two, three, four, five shades. I haven't used either of the two shimmers, nor have I used this other, I'm going to call that one milk chocolate and that one I'm going to call bittersweet dark chocolate. I think I want to use a little bit of this 
the lighter shimmer in here and we're just gonna put a little bit of it here yeah that's kind of bright and pretty you guys i'm so glad i picked this up i wasn't really sure at first i was like okay wait are they colors that we already have and even though i have a very large collection I don't feel like I have a palette that has this exact uh, tones on it. I'm trying to decide if I want to put a little bit of it on the center of my lid or just leave it. I think I might just leave it. We're doing kind of like this mostly matte look with this just little pop of, of bright shade right here. I think I'm going to leave that on. Let's get some mascara on and then we'll put the final lip gloss on and we'll kind of give it a, a, a final look-see. Okay, guys, I am back. I put a little bit of the Believe Beauty mascara on. I picked this up from Five Below a couple months ago on a trip and it's crazy because the consistency of the formula and the spoolie are really, really good for being a super affordable product. Like I, I feel like I've got the thickness that I want and the length. That's her joke here. Uh, I did get a little bit of it on my lid, so I'm gonna wait for that to dry down a little bit. As far as the eyeshadow goes, yeah, I actually, I'm feeling very pretty and I really like this look. Let's try the gloss. I haven't tried the gloss yet, so we're gonna give that a little whirl and it gave my lips enough time to dry down too mm, very pretty very excited about that okay let's put a little setting powder on i'm gonna use the laura mercier translucent setting powder and this should give my skin a little bit of a glow but hopefully not too shiny just a little iridescent healthy sometimes when you get something that's too shiny and too glowy put it on texture look good this i think is actually a nice product okay could i have lightened up around my nose a little bit probably <laughs> But let's see here what we've got. I, actually, I feel like this is actually completely appropriate and very pretty for outside and daylight, even if it is a darker, smokier eye. I'm going to grab a little bit more of this blush. This blush is really pretty, and I'm surprised at how pigmented it actually looked on my skin. We're just going to put a little bit more. I, I, this is why I abuse blush, right? Because I, I did not want to stop. I'm trying to deposit it more higher up on my cheeks, and then the rest of the product and kind of bring it down here. I guess we'll have to see how long it lasts, right? Okay, so I'm gonna grab a little setting spray. I haven't used this one in a long time. This is one from Ciate London. I don't remember how long this lasts, but let's see. I probably put too much on. I didn't drag. <laughs> I get through my hair as I'm pulling it out of the way. Okay, you guys, that's it. The Eye Method eyebrow stamp. I'm really actually enjoying it. Where did my spoolie go? The spoolie is going to be hard for me to keep track of because it's Paquito. But I think the, the product looks good. And I didn't use any kind of like setting gel or anything like that, eyebrow gel on it. Um, let's just see. Let's just see how they look. But I like the shape of them. Yeah, I'm okay with that. This is the uh, end result. I'm feeling very dewy and fresh. This ordinary foundation you guys is such a lightweight formula i feel like really naturally healthy with it i think the eyeshadow despite it being uh like a smokier kind of ombre look and really feel it's pretty the lip color is perfect for me i think the blush is actually perfect for me i don't know what you guys think or have you were you guys interested in especially the the dose of colors product and then i guess the other question is, is have you guys been interested at all in the eyebrow stamp thing i've seen people do it on like tiktoks and instagram and stuff reels but i have never actually seen the products in person and when i method reached out to me and said hey can we send you some stuff would you give us your honest opinion of it i'm like yeah i i like to do honest opinions and I honestly, I was concerned. I was concerned for the, like a black rubber, rubber stamp. I didn't get that at all. I actually get kind of a nice shaped brow and I think the color works and I'm thrilled. So I'm gonna get out of your guys' hair. I need to go. My husband's like, hey, we, we gotta go, let's go. So I'm gonna wash the swatches off my hands, put some shoes on, should do that. And then uh, wish you guys nothing but love and happiness and I hope you guys are doing really well. Feel free to come back around, stick around. Um, there'll be another video in a couple days, I'm sure. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, subscribe, ring the bell, do the things and just know that I love you guys. And I hope you guys are doing really well. And until next video, bye for now.